Hello my fellow working class heroes, good day. I am Carlo and welcome to Carlo Excels. These are the objectives of this episode. Today we're gonna talk about how to achieve auto filtering with the use of formulas and functions in earlier versions of Microsoft Excel. Right now, we're here at my Microsoft Excel screen. So we have now a list of our students, and then we have here their sexes, and then the month of their birth, and then the year of their birth. Say, for example, you want to perform filtering uh, on this uh, chart or in this table over here. Say, for example, you want only the females, you want only those who are born in October, and you want uh, those who are born only in 2006. Now, doing this manually is very easy to do. We already dealt with this during a previous lesson when we talked about uh, tables. So what you want to do is you press Control A on the whole table and then you uh, you click on Format as Table. You could, uh, select a format and then press Enter. Of course, this time we have headers. Press OK. Now, with this, you can easily perform filters. Just like what I said a while ago, you want only those who are female. So we have essentially filtered this table over here and you can filter accordingly for as long as you do this process manually. However, there are cases wherein you don't want to do it manually. You don't have to create or you don't want to use the format as table option. You want to be able to do the filtering manually. So in other words, you want uh, as soon as you put in the data here on this uh, chart on the left, on this table on the left, you want the data to be filtered automatically uh, on this table on the right. If you are using the latest versions of Microsoft Excel, we already have the filter function for this. But if you're using earlier versions of Microsoft Excel, you don't have the filter function. Now, I've already mentioned before that this channel is meant for the teachers here in the Philippines. And most teachers here in the Philippines do not use the latest versions of Microsoft Excel. So the methods I'm going to teach you uh, when it comes to automatic filtering will definitely work for those who are using earlier versions of Microsoft Excel. So before I continue, these are the following lessons on this channel that you may want to review before you proceed with this video. So on lesson 20, we talked about the large and the small functions. Lesson 21, basic data validation. Lesson 31, the if function. Lesson 34, the or and the end function. Lesson 36, the if error function. And lesson 41, the vlookup and hlookup function. We're going to use these functions and lessons to perform our automatic filtering. So you may want to review these lessons first before you proceed. Links on the uh, on the videos for these lessons down below in the description. So let's start with filtering with one condition. Now you can see here on the screen, I already prepared uh, the layout of uh, the filtering that we're going to use. So you have here the name of the, the names of the students. This is the input part. Uh, this is the table wherein you input data. You have here the students, you have here the months, and then you have here an extra column on the left which says row number. We're going to use that. And then on the middle, we have here the months prepared for us and then we have a month cell over here where we plan to uh, select a month that we're going to use for filtering. And on the right, we have the output table. So we expect to be able to filter months and for those students who uh, belong to those months or who are born on those months, we want uh, those students to appear uh, on this table to the right. Let's first set up the drop-down list that we're going to use here. Uh, we already know how to do that through data validation. So uh, we press here data on the uh, ribbon and then data validation over here. We want a list and we want the source of the list to be this uh, space over here, the one we prepared already, the list of months. And so we already have our drop-down lists for the months. Now, this is what we want to happen. We want to put in here an if function. And the if function that we want to put in here will go like this. If the month of, if the birth month of the student corresponds to whatever month uh, appears here, we want this to count down. So this is what's going to happen. Um, we want to write the if function here. So if this space here, if this space here is equal to the month that we selected, we want this row number, the first row only, the first row, we want it to display the number one. We want, to, we want the value of this cell to be equal to the number one. And if it is not equal, meaning false, we want it to be zero. So with that formula, we press enter. So right now it says zero because uh, the month is currently August. But if we switch this to August, you will see it says one. So we know that the if function we wrote here works. Now we proceed to the second row here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do another uh, if function here. If this month here 
is equal to the month we selected, what we want this cell to do is we want this cell to be able to check all of the cells above it and then check if there, is, if there are already numbers in it. If there are already numbers in it, you want this cell to count downwards. All right? We want it to count downwards so that we prepare it for VLOOKUP later. So this is what we're going to do. We want to find the largest cell above it. Large. And then you pick this cell as your array. This cell to this cell. Because that is the only cell above this cell right now. And then you want to find the first largest uh, value that it can find. And then you want to add 1 to it. Now, if this is false, meaning if, C, if uh, C3 is not equal to the month you selected, this cell should be 0. Now, because we plan to copy-paste this downwards, we want cell E3, the cell that we're going to uh, manipulate later on, we want this to be an absolute reference. As for this part here, the array, because we're going to copy-paste uh, paste this downwards, we want the first cell A2 to be an absolute reference and, this, and the next cell A2 to, be, uh, A2 to be a relative reference. So with this formula, we press enter. And now we know it's correct because uh, it, it is uh, displaying zero because uh, this month um, here is March and then the currently selected month is August. Next, we copy this and then we just paste it downwards and you will see that the formula keeps on adjusting. Say for example, if we copy paste this downwards, you will see now that C4 has adjusted because it's already relative reference. As for the large uh, function right here, uh, cell A2 is still staying on the second uh, row here, over here, but cell A3 has already adjusted, meaning you're checking all of the cells above it. So let's keep on copy pasting this downwards here, here, here. Uh, let's keep on doing this until we hit an August over here. Now, the moment we hit an August, let's look what happens. It has now it now says two here because because it, because it uh it because uh it has hit an August because this part is August over here. What happens is it has found the largest value it can find above and then has added one to it. So we can copy paste uh, we can copy that and paste it all the way down here. And what we essentially do is we find all of the entries of August and then we are counting down from one. Uh, we are counting down from 1 all the way to how many people were born in August, all the way to 15. And using this, using the data here that we created, we can actually perform VLOOKUP with that. So here, on this uh, side here, we can perform VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP, here, VLOOKUP. The lookup value is this value, the one on the left. The lookup value is this. And then, this is going to be the table array that we're going to find that value from as per the VLOOKUP function. And then, column index number because the student, uh, the student column is on the second column on this uh, array that we selected, we want two. And then, we want an exact match which is false. Now, because we plan to copy-paste this downwards, the uh, array should be an absolute reference like so. And then, we press enter. So you will see now, Abby is the first student that was born on the month of August. Now we repeat this process of uh, doing the VLOOKUP for the month. So let's do. Let's just copy this formula here, and then uh, paste it here. But in this case, we want the third column in this array here. So we change the two to three. So Abby Mackenzie Collin is the first person born in August according to this list, and here's the month. Uh, born in August like so. And because we put uh, absolute references and relative references where they should be, this should be good to go to copy-paste downwards. So we copy those two cells, paste that all the way down here, and we now have the 15 students who are born in August. Now, if you're seeing the uh, if you're seeing the screen right now, you will notice here a value not applicable or NA error over here. It cannot find the value. Now, why can't it find the value? Simple, because there are only 15 people born in August, so it cannot be look up 16 because there is no 16 here on the left because there are only uh, 15 people born in August. So if you want to remove that error, we can use the if error function for that. So let's go back here. Let's put an if error function here. Let's insert that over here. And then 
if this value or if, yeah if, if this space over here is going to give us a uh, uh, na error we want this to display a double quotation mark a blank cell like so and then let's do the same thing for this cell over here an if error function wherein if they if uh, this function cannot find uh, the row number meaning if you if you cannot find uh, the correct uh, the person with the correct month birth month you have a double quotation mark like so now we simply take these cells here paste it all the way downwards and then you have your filtered list ba based on formulas now we can perform a proof of concept so let's try changing this who are the people born on december we have the following who are the people born on January? We have the following. So what you essentially have done is you have a uh, you have a formula-based filtering auto filtering system. But what if you want to perform formula-based auto filtering but with multiple conditions? For example, if you select a student's sex, a student's birth month, and a student's birth year, everybody who fits these conditions will appear uh, on the table on the right. That's very easy to do. All we have to do is to perform the same steps that we did a while ago, except in this case, we use the end extension, the end uh, function. So let's first prepare our drop-down list. So data validation here for sex. So we already have a table for sexes here, table for months here, and a table for possible, uh, not sex, years, years here. So let's perform, uh, let, let's prepare our drop-down list. So list over here. The source should be this month uh, list. And then the source should be this. And then for the year, we want to create a list. And then the source should be these years here. Press OK. So for the sexes, male and female, good. For the months, all of the months here, good. And then for the years, the three years here, good. So let's perform uh, the if function for the first row here. Just like what I showed you a while ago, what we do is uh, if. So what we want to do is if the, uh, if the sex is equal to the sex uh, shown here, and if the month is equal to the month shown here, and if the year is equal to the year shown here, we want to display a row number. So we want all of these conditions to be true. And so therefore, we use the end function for this. And if this sex here is equal to this sex here, and if this month here is equal to this month here, and if this year here is equal to this year here, we want this uh, cell to display 1, and if not, we want this cell to display 0. And then we press, whoops, wrong use of the end function, forgot that. So with that, we press enter. For the second row, another if function, and then end function. If this cell here is, if the, if the sex of the student is equal to the sex we selected, and then if the month, birth month of the student is the same as the month we selected, and if the birth year of the student is the same as the year we selected, like so, the end function, then what should happen is large function, look, uh, again, look at the array or look at the uh, cells above it, like so. The first uh, largest value, and then whatever the first largest value is, you add one to it. And if uh, the first uh, condition is uh, false, we want this to display zero like so. And then once again, because we're going to copy paste this downwards, cell G3, this space here should be an absolute reference. This one should be an absolute reference. This one should be an absolute reference. As for the large function, we want uh, the topmost cell of the array to stick like so. And then we press enter. Now that we've performed uh, this function correctly, we can simply copy that and paste that all the way down here. And then our, uh, our task for now is finished. Now let's see if this works as it should. So if we pick a male here and then born on the month of August, like so, and then born on the year 2006, correct. 
this uh, becomes one as it should. And is there anybody here, anybody else who fits the bill? Yes. Male, August on 2006. Uh, anybody else? Oh, there's another one here. Male, August 2006. So yes, the formula works as it should. Now we can proceed to the VLOOKUP part. So for the VLOOKUP part, let's do a VLOOKUP over here. Uh, we want to look up this value. And then this is going to be our table array starting with this column here. Uh, highlighting all the way downwards. And then we want to look up the second column because uh, in this array here, the students are in this, the student names are in the second column. And then we want uh, a, a exact match. And so we want uh, the table array to be absolute references. And that should be our formula. Now, if you remember a while ago, we want this to display a blank cell if in case it cannot find this row number. So let's insert an if error function here. So if this if this results to an error, then we want this cell to display a blank like so. And then we press enter. Now, let's copy paste this over here because we want it to display sex. So we just change the column two here to here to three. And then let's have this, we change it to four. Fourth column because uh, the month is in the fourth column. And then this one should be five because birth year is on the fifth column like so. Uh, beautify it a little bit. Okay, like so. And then, now that we're confident uh, as to uh, that these formulas work, let's copy that, paste that all the way down here, and now you have your filtering list. So let's see if this works. We want females born on August year 2016, uh, 2006 rather. There you have seven of them. We want females born on 2007, and then, oh, nobody's born on August. How about September? No one? January? Ah, oh, there are two of them. Females born in January, year 2006. Ah, oh, there are seven of them. So, over here, right now, what we've done, what we've accomplished is our uh, auto-filtering list with multiple conditions, just formula-based, without having to do this manually uh, using the format as table option in Microsoft Excel. Please note that there are many other variations to this, but the technique remains the same. All you will have to do is Based on a set, based on set conditions, you will have to set up your if function uh, with the large function, which counts down whenever uh, your conditions turn out to be true. And using the numbers on the leftmost part, you can perform a VLOOKUP on another table. So you have here. Uh, your basics for a formula-based auto-filtering list. So that's it for our lesson on achieving auto-filtering with the use of formulas and functions in earlier versions of Microsoft Excel. I hope I earned your subscription today. Once again, I am Carlo and this is Carlo Excels. Thank you very much for watching.